The NSA director blows smoke up the InfoSec community's ass, and new leaks from Edward Snowden detail the NSA program that collects nearly everything a typical user does on the internet. That and more from Black Hat 2013, this time on ThreatWire. Hello, welcome to ThreatWire. My name is Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. And this is your weekly dose of what's threatening our security, our privacy, our beloved internet freedom. And we are here from... Las Vegas! It's Black Hat. It's DEF CON. This is a good one, too. Let me tell oh, you. Yeah. Earlier today, uh, General Keith Alexander, the NSA director, the commander of U.S. Cyber Command, Command, command. He's, he's, the, somewhere. he's the command commander. Anyway, he uh, did the keynote speech over at Black Hat uh, addressing all of the information security professionals, the hackers, okay? Uh, let's just call them what they are. And his remarks was actually pretty well received it overall. Was. He got plenty of claps and whatnot. Uh, there's a few other things, but. You know, but I mean, honestly, you have to kind of figure that Black Hat is really the more corporate side of, uh, of this community. That's and. True. And these are where you're going to find uh, more of, well, both companies that are involved in, say, the PRISM program, as well as, you know, government contracting cybersecurity agencies. Yeah. So it wasn't all smiles, though. I'm actually going to give mad props to John McCoy. Did you see this? 30-year-old uh, consultant uh, who called out the NSA director. Um, and let's, let's just take a look. Our nation takes stopping terrorism as one of the most important things. Exactly. So last year, General Keith Alexander actually gave the keynote address at DEF CON, but that was long before Edward Snowden actually did the whistleblowing and called out PRISM, which was, you know, a huge deal this year. Yeah. Did you flirt with him when he came by the booth? Totally. Yes. Uh, of course, uh, in terms of mainstream, now this is absolutely in the media, and Mr. Alexander is a bit on the defensive, spending much of his time kind of trying to convince us of how we got to this posture in the cybersecurity world. Right. So the director spent a little bit of time actually spouting the F word, and we all know what that is, freedom. freedom. He cited terrorist attacks from the first World Trade Center bombing in, back in 1993, the USS Cole in 2000, and of course, 9-11. You couldn't forget that one. And eventually he took kind of the humble highway of saying, we failed to connect the dots. So it's OK. We forgive you. Now, Mr. Alexander discussed the NSA and how that they handle uh, you know, data that they receive and how much that they're authorized uh, to look into it, for example. Phone numbers, they can be easily authorized. Research by only 22 people, though, and only 35 people actually in the NSA can do a query on those uh, specific phone numbers. So back in 2012, he gave this example. Only 500 numbers had actually been added to that list. And he also mentioned this huge rigorous training that must be done by all the employees who could authorize such trainings. So basically what he's saying there is they go through a whole bunch of training. If everything that they have to do is legit and they have to go through tons of different ways to get you to can trust us query in we're the, the government and we've been yeah, trained that's what he's saying. you know also <laughs> uh, there was a slide showing off some of the metadata collecting to kind of assure us that they don't read the contents of everything of course this goes contrary to the latest leaks from nsa whistleblower edward snowden pointing out a program called x key score in which the nsa has the ability to comb through a massive database of nearly everything that you do on the internet without review from courts or nsa personnel how about that. Perfect timing, by the way. The program, which su uh, supposedly can provide both real-time analysis on, on targets, uh, seems to be as easy to use as just filling out a web form. It's even complete with like a whole drop-down for you know uh, target justification. There's like pre-filled-in reasons for why you're going after who you are. It's got Facebook right, chat <laughs> interceptors to boot. I mean, it sounds like a pretty cool, you know, little yeah, interception nice. project. And the NSA documents suggest that in 2008, some like 300 different terrorists had been captured using intelligence from X key score. So in the end, the director ended by basically saying, asking the InfoSec community for help. That's right. We can help today by protecting our packets. <laughs> now, for continued coverage of all things Black Hat and DEF CON, check out our sister show, Hack 5, all throughout the week as we celebrate eight-year anniversary of that show. And yeah, we will a fun show. <laughs> yeah, and we will see you guys on the internet.